was nothing there. It was totally empty. Jacob was my son. He said, Mom, why don't we do something for Sarah, who's my daughter, and she has autism. He goes, why don't we do a cafe and employ young adults with disabilities? I kind of said it as somewhat of a hypothetical, like, oh, wouldn't it be great if that existed? You're working today. Yeah. How's work? Good. Here we are nine years later, and it's been a great experience. It wasn't hard to find people to work because there's, there are, are not a lot of jobs out there for people with disabilities. We always have a lot of people asking us for jobs. 18 and 25 cents. 18 and 25. Can you give her the 25 first, please? People love to work here. It's one of their, their favorite parts of their week, really. I was just uh, hearing about Emily. She has a, uh, a paycheck dance that she does when she gets her paycheck. As customers start coming in and as employees start coming in, uh, you know, it's just day-to-day -day business, but there's a lot of uh, little tasks that go on with that. And what, who does what depends on what the employees are comfortable doing. And so some employees really like working the cash register. Some employees really like making coffees or going to the, to the stock room in the back. There's a lot of different things that happen, and depending on what the employees are comfortable with, that, that's what they do. We try to make it a, a good experience for our employees and the customers, and that requires it being uh, just a regular restaurant. These individuals work hard, they take their work very seriously, they engage with people. <laughs> They're just brilliant at, at, at brightening people's lives and um, you know putting some hope and cheer into your um, into your day. So you get caffeine and you get a jolt of one of our individuals who makes you go on your day saying, "Oh yeah, it's going to be a good day."